Hello, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. Today, we are going to be trying out the Fly Lady cleaning routine. I have been hesitating to try this for many months now because I discovered the Clean Mama routine, which you guys may know if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, and it just has been working out so great for me. I'm still doing it, and it's really just been like a huge game changer in my home. And so I've been hesitating to like change it up or do something different, but I know I promised I would try this. So a couple of days ago, I downloaded the Fly Lady cleaning app and started looking at it to see like what exactly I had to do. Now, I do think I need to do some extra research like on her website and stuff to get some clarity on a few things, but I'm already like hesitating to continue doing this because... Like, I'm like, when do I clean my bathrooms? There's nowhere on here that says I clean my bathroom this week. I have to clean my bathroom this week. I clean my bathroom every week. And I'm already spinning out about something that I don't even fully understand. So I just need to take a moment, do my research, figure out what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to do that now. But I did give it like a test run yesterday just to see like where some of the holes were in my general routine. And I think a lot of the stuff that the fly lady cleaning routine has to offer is self-care things that I'm not currently doing. Like one of the main requirements is right away when you wake up, you get dressed and you like get ready to go for the day. I literally never do that. I'm in my pajamas for probably at least half the day most days, if not the entire day. So taking care of myself is very low on the priority list because I just like it's not a big deal to me. If I do need to leave the house for whatever reason, I'll go throw in some clothes quick and like move on. Like I really don't care. But I do like on the days where I do get ready, I feel so much better. I'm way more motivated. I get way more done. So like I definitely see the value in doing that. I'm going to give it my best effort. So anyway, if you enjoy this type of content and enjoy this video, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the channel. And let's just jump into this day slash week of trying out the fly lady cleaning routine. Alrighty, so <laughs> as I am editing this video, I have realized, unfortunately, that all of my audio for this day one clip are gone. So I'm going to go ahead and re-record it and actually get the audio this time, but the date on my phone is going to clearly indicate that it is not day one of this cleaning routine. So just thought I'd throw that in there so you knew what was going on. So. What I wanted to do here is kind of walk through this app so that we kind of saw what was going on. So at the bottom here, you have home, you have my progress, which is how you keep track of your zones, your weekly home blessing, and all of your daily tasks. Then you have routines, which is pretty much the same thing. It just doesn't have zones in it. And then we have the zones, which breaks down the zone that you're in, how many days you have left in that zone, and then the following zones. For our sake, we are just gonna focus on the progress section. So you have morning routines, which lays out all of your possible morning routine things. As you can see here at the bottom, I've added some things to the morning routine. That will happen later in this video as we proceed. But like I said, recording this at the tail end of things. So you have your morning routine, you have your afternoon stuff, and then you have your evening tasks. All pretty clear, all very specific. If you go on her website, she basically breaks all of those down and kind of jumps into what exactly some of those are if they aren't as clear. For example, in the morning routine, you have swish and swipe, which unless you go look into that, you don't really know what that is. <laughs> and then you have your zones. Now for this video, I am in the living room zone. This is for the current week, not last week when I filmed this, but it gives you a current zone that is like a detail clean. So for this video, we did the living room. So we had all these things we had to do in the living room and you have a whole week to do that. And finally, you have the weekly home blessing. So these are weekly tasks you need to accomplish. They're pretty general, basic things you would do week to week anyway. And I believe that is everything that I wanted to go over real quickly for this day one stuff. So hang tight and we will jump into the specifics. 
Good morning. It is day two of the fly lady cleaning routine. I have gotten dressed all the way to shoes tied. I made my bed. I swish and swiped in this bathroom sink area. Wow! I'm gonna empty the dishwasher now, and then we're gonna make breakfast. So morning routine is off to a good start. I'm not gonna start a load of laundry though. Don't need to. There's like two pieces of clothing in the hamper, so not gonna do that today. So I think our morning routine's almost over, so, so far so good. But the morning routine seems to be the easiest thing to do. It's like later in the day where things aren't happening, so try and get better about that today. I figured out what I want to do for my 15 minutes of decluttering today. Let me see if I can set you up. We brought home a bunch of toys from uh, this warehouse that Matt works at. Anyway. Nonetheless, we have a play area there for Parker, and uh, we brought home a bunch of the toys to clean and stuff, and now that I'm looking at them, I want to throw a lot of this away. So this is gonna be my declutter for the day. So, let's see what we have. Literally a bag of trash. Um, don't know about the snake thing. She likes the snakes. They freak my brother out because she leaves them laying and he thinks there's snakes in the house, and uh, but my mom bought them to scare away birds. So I'll see what she wants to do with this. It's technically hers. <clears throat> we have these random flash cards. Yeah, we'll probably hold on to these for a bit longer. See if she likes these. We have these little mask things that she liked to play with, but they're kind of like all bent up now. So we get rid of those. Keep these wooden animals. I'll go put these with the rest of her animals. These balls need to go with her other balls. These keys and these chewy rings are for much smaller humans. Oh, my wand, my TV wand. <laughs> she really likes this thing. Okay, more trash. Trash, trash, trash. She likes taking apart our wallets and uh, we don't like her taking apart our wallets. So I gave her this to fiddle with. So she thinks she's up to no good when really, it really just doesn't matter. Okay, this rattle can go, chew toy can go, this foam thing needs to go elsewhere. Okay, so that was kind of successful. We went through a bucket. I didn't really get rid of things. I thought I was going to get rid of these, but now I'm second guessing that. No, we don't need them. I will get rid of them. They're all, they're bent to hell, obviously. She just... She takes them and she just wrecks them. So we will say goodbye to these as well. I also, um, I started working on my zone today, the living room, and I like totally straightened out the bookcase, wiped out all the knickknacks. I'm not really a knickknack person, but we do have like the couple things we do have out are on the bookshelf. So I have all of my like vintage cameras up there and then Matt has his vintage phones. So I washed all those down. So the bookcase is fully done. I thought I was recording myself doing that. I'll include what I got, but I don't know if my phone was like pinched in the tripod weird, but it kept turning off the recording. So I just have like random pieces of the recording. So I'll put those in anyway, but um, I'm gonna see if I can knock out another living room item before Parker wakes up from her nap. Let me look at the list and see what I can do. Good morning. It is Thursday. I have done most of my morning routine and I wanted to spend some time like going through the fly lady's website to get like more specific information and it just I just realized 
what the swish and swipe actually was, you actually have to scrub out your toilet every morning, which I did not realize. And that's why I was all panicky about when I was supposed to clean the bathrooms. You're technically just, you use the toilet brush and scrub out your toilet real quick. And then, what does it say? Swish the toilet with a toilet bowl brush and wipe down the countertops and put everything away. So basically you're just generally maintaining the bathroom. It's not super detail cleaning, which I guess is okay, but I kind of like fully cleaning the toilet once a week, wiping all of the services down and disinfecting it. So maybe I'll just make a little addendum to this where I use the cleaner inside the toilet once a week. And then when I wipe down the counters, I wipe down like a part of the toilet, you know, so that it's always getting clean too, because I really like having the bathrooms deep cleaned every week. It's been working really well for me. So I'll see how I can combine or incorporate the two different routines so that it works for me. But I just wanted to jump on it and say that because I feel stupid because I thought swish and swipe was just like wiping off your counters and sinks real quick, but I misunderstood. So anyway, at least there's a toilet element involved here. So when we flipped over this couch, I fully expected to find like spider webs or something because every once in a while I see these tiny little spiders around. What we did find, which surprised me, were these little squiggly wormy looking things. And so Matt did a Google lens search and apparently they're little like carpet beetles. And so I was a little freaked out, but apparently they're pretty harmless. They just eat carpet or whatever. And uh, you just spray your stuff with apple cider vinegar or white vinegar. It kind of keeps them at bay. They come in from outside and our couch is right next to a door. So not really a huge deal, but it totally freaked me out. But luckily they were not under the other side of the couch. So it's definitely like an outside related issue. So hopefully we have that taken care of and I will absolutely be flipping the couches over way more frequently. Today is officially the last day of me doing my week of the Fly Lady cleaning routine. It is Sunday. I'm posting this video tomorrow morning, hopefully on Monday. I've been encountering some issues with getting things done and it definitely starts in the morning. I have added too many things to my morning routine, which I will show you. 
And what I've realized is that on a good day, when Parker sleeps, like sleeps in longer than usual, I can get it all done and I have extra time. So I kept like adding things because she was doing that a lot. But if she does not sleep in, then I do not get all those things done. And I really don't pick up on like chore type things until the afternoon again. So if they don't get done in the morning, then I technically have not finished my morning routine. So I'm going to switch us over to looking at the app so I can kind of like explain what I'm talking about. But that is how I'm feeling right now. And then times like today, we woke up and we went to brunch with my family and now it's already 12 30 in the afternoon and I pretty much did none of my morning routine like I got dressed because we were going out but I think that's the only thing I accomplished so anyway I know every day can't be perfect but I don't like not getting my routine done every day so let's just flip over to the app and we will walk through that Alrighty, let's take a look at our progress for the day. Oh, the other big thing that happened is now that it's Sunday, our um, our zone has changed. So I don't know. Let me scroll back. Oh, current zones. Oh, snap. I have three zones this week. Holy moly. Let's go to routines. Oh, actually, let's go into zones because I want to see if it keeps track of my past zones. Oh, no, it zeroed me out. Yeah, okay, no, I did I did get living room finished for last week. Uh, but sorry, let's go back to our routine. So morning for the day. Um, I have not made my bed. I did get dressed to shoes. I did not do swish and swipe. I ate breakfast because we went to brunch. Um, I don't even know. I don't. I think the dishwasher is empty, so we don't have to do that. I have not started a load of laundry. I don't even know if I need to. Um, check my calendar. I did not scoop the poop and I did not brush the cats. So it's already the afternoon and I did not accomplish most of my morning routine because we were not here. So I don't really love that, but I, I mean, that's just how the day went. Let's see, what do we have elsewhere? Afternoon, what's for dinner? We figured that out. I'm currently drinking water, haven't decluttered, don't have laundry going yet, and have not worked out. Okay, weekly home blessing. Oh, do I still have time to do that? Why didn't weekly home blessing reset? Interesting. What if I just reset? Are you sure you want to reset? Yes. Because it's Sunday, so I need to start over again. All right, so our new um, zones, zone one, has been reset to exactly what I need. Holy crap, I've been talking for forever. We're probably going to cut most of that out. Anyway, that is our check-in for now. Alrighty, we are to the final segment of this video where I give my final thoughts on this week of doing the fly lady cleaning routine. I am very mixed on the situation. I think if I would have done this cleaning routine first, I would have fallen in love with it as hard as I did the Clean Mama routine. It has an app, it's super structured, you can check things off as you go. I absolutely love that. However, I don't know if it was the week that I was doing it or what, but it didn't feel as clear cut as I wanted it to be. Which sounds so silly because she gives you very specific instructions for what you're supposed to do every day and what you're supposed to get done during the week. but. I am a giant procrastinator, so if I do not have a very specific timeline for getting things done, I will push it off and keep pushing it off. And that's what happened with the zone situation is I had a whole week to get the living room done. And you better believe I didn't work on that until the end of the week. And I don't know, I just, I feel like I need very specific things to do each day. I think my main point is the clean mama routine gives you very, one very specific thing to do each day and for me that was very clear cut, very defined and I had to get it done on that day. No negotiation. And with this I felt like I had a little wiggle room to kind of doink around and <laughs> that just does not mesh well with 
my personality because I'm a huge procrastinator, always have been. But I do absolutely love the app and checking things off. The biggest thing that I love, love, love about the Fly Lady cleaning routine is all of the self-care stuff. First thing in the morning, you have to get up and get ready and get yourself together before anything else. I did not value that as highly as I should have in the beginning of this. And now having done that every day for a week, I feel so much better about myself. Like just getting up and getting ready every single morning really makes you feel a certain type of way. And I guess I never realized how important that was to me being productive during the day. Obviously I can be productive in my, in my pajamas, but getting dressed up and ready to go just makes me want to be a better person in general. I don't know if that sounds dramatic, but it has made such a big difference this week. And even like middle of the day check-ins, like, have you been drinking water? <laughs> Half the time the answer is no. So it makes me go up and get a glass of water, which is so important. And then have you done your 15 minutes of loving movement? Like, usually not. So it's just, it's just such good check-ins to like, prioritize yourself a little bit and that has been such a huge change for me because there's always a reason to not like not prioritize yourself and go do the 80 other thousand things you have to do during the day so I don't know that has been such a huge huge I don't know what the word I'm looking for is it has been a huge change for me and probably the best change for me quite honestly so what I think I want to do going forward, I think I want to merge the two. I think I wanna go back to doing each of my clean mama routine things daily, but incorporate them into the fly lady cleaning routine because the app, like, I said, like I've said numerous times, the app is amazing. Love the app, love being able to go through there every day. But I think I really like the structure of the clean mama routine and Monday's our bathroom, Tuesday is dusting, Wednesday is vacuuming, Thursday is mopping, Friday is a catch-all, Saturday is bedding. Like I really just, that really works for me in my brain for some reason. So I think I wanna go back to doing that, but then also with the fly lady stuff, all of the self-care stuff in the zone system so that I have like every week I have very specific like detail house cleaning stuff to do. I think if I merge all of this together, I will have the ultimate system for myself or for what works for me. So I think in the coming months, I'm going to try to finalize some sort of combination system and then maybe present that to you guys in a video. We'll see how it works out, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. So on the whole, definitely love the Fly Lady cleaning routine. Definitely some things that I would adjust and tweak but that's just from testing other systems out. So with that said, if there are other cleaning and organizational systems that you guys have tried or love or wanna see me try, please let me know. I am totally down to try anything. Having these kinds of systems in my life has changed my life. Like I, my house is in such better shape than it ever has been in my entire life. So I am all in to try all the cleaning routines that you got for me. So if you are new to this channel and enjoy this type of content, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the channel and that is where I will leave you for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.